We're the Hairy Bikers! Key lime pie, lemon meringue pie, essentially the same thing with a different citrus fruit. You've got a biscuity base, possibly a pastry base, a custardy tart filling, topped by a fluffy meringue that's a little bit crisp. Uh, this particular recipe today for key lime pie is from the Hairy Bikers. Dave and Simon have been around the UK cooking scene for years and they've had loads of TV shows. I particularly like the one where they went all around the UK visiting different regions and picking up different local specialities. The Hairy Bikers feel like they've been around forever, although we've only seen them on screen since 2004. They met on a filming location, Dave a makeup artist and Sire a location scout. They bonded over their love of food and motorcycles during breaks in filming and decided to go into food together. They've made loads of programmes together, usually joking around, travelling somewhere and cooking regional specialities. The style is somewhat reminiscent of Keith Floyd, part cookery, part travelogue. They're incredibly likeable and it's no wonder they've been able to keep making cookbooks and TV programmes and live tours together. On a side note, Dave's recently been through some health worries, so get well soon, Dave. This one is from a series called Mum Knows Best, about collecting those recipes from mums, basically, and other members of the family, ensuring they don't get lost. The two keys to this recipe is using Oreo biscuits for the base, so that you get a dark, creamy, sweet base. And rather than making a true custard, and you use condensed milk, that sticky, sweet milk you get in a tin. Let's have a look at the recipe and see how it goes. It's dead easy. I'm using a food processor to get my base started, which I'm using Oreo biscuits. And that buttercream filling is means that it's going to stick together beautifully. I'm going to drizzle in some melted butter. All the quantities and ingredients are listed uh, in the description below. I'm also going to pop a QR code at the end. Once that's all combined and come together as a nice rubbly mass, I'm just going to spoon all that into a well buttered spring form tin and that's going to form the base of the key lime pie. I'm just going to pack that in, push it out towards the edges. The butter's going to set on it and form like a case, so you don't need to be that precise actually, it's going to glue together like concrete. And I mean that in the nicest possible way. Okay, separating some eggs, because we're going to whisk up the egg whites for the meringue and keep the yolks back to do the custardy filling. Using the zest of three limes, I'm going to juice them as well and use that later. I'm going to beat the egg yolks and the limes together. Once that's all combined, I'm also then going to stir in the lime juice. Now for the key star ingredient, the condensed milk. Don't you love the way that oozes out of the can? Okay, never mind. Um, whisking all that together, you can use a hand whisk. I just can't be bothered, so I'm using my electric beaters. Pour that custardy filling on top of the biscuit base. I'm going to tap it a few times to get the air bubbles out. I'm going to whisk up the egg whites now, and once they've reached sort of soft peaks, I'm going to start adding in some icing sugar and carry on beating that until you get those thick, glossy whites that allegedly you can hold over your head. Adding just a spoonful of vanilla bean paste. Beat it in quickly. You can see how sticky those egg whites are and that's going to form the meringue top. I'm just going to smooth that all over and then lift up the spatula a few times and make nice pretty ribbon effects um, that catch and look kind of pretty. I've got my oven on 180 degrees C and I'm just going to pop that in the oven to bake. That'll take around 20 to 25 minutes. The only thing we're really doing here is cooking and colouring the meringue um, and getting a bit more of a mallowy finish on that. And there's the meringue complete. I'm going to leave that to cool now so that I can cut and serve it.
So here we go, the Hairy Bikers Key Lime Pie. There we go there. You've got your biscuity base at the bottom, the tangy custardy filling, and a beautiful meringue on top. My top tip for this, make sure you get really good limes. I find some supermarkets, they can give you, frankly, not very powerful limes at all. Go to your local greengrocer and get three or four limes off them. Uh, try that, and that lift of tanginess cuts through all this rich sweetness you've got there. It's sticky, it's sweet. It's absolutely delicious. Give it a go. If someone you know would like this recipe, why not share it to them? Copy the link, send it to them in a WhatsApp or something like that. Even better, if you can hit the like button and find time to subscribe, it helps me out enormously. Thanks very much. See you next time.